Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and we are developing an e-commerce project using Laravel 10 and in previous video you have already seen how I worked on cart page to make it dynamic. Now today in this video I'm going to start on user authentication system. So here you can see this is the sign in page and if I click the sign up here then this is the uh, registration page uh, which is static for now. So today uh, first I will work on this sign up page and then we will move on to this signing page okay so let's start so open your project uh, this is my project and i already started laravel 10 dev server and also npm run dev let's close this terminal first i'll open the component class file of registration page so go to app directory then this live wire directory then this auth directory you will find this register page.php file okay uh, similarly i will open the uh, blade file of registration page so open open resources directory views directory live wire auth and then you will find this register hyphen page dot blade dot php file so from this page i will send uh, and submit event using live wire 3 uh, with all the form details like name email and password to this class file okay and here i will handle the register uh, registration process okay user registration process so from here let's find form tag so this is the form tag so here uh, what i will do is i will use wire submit event and here i will write prevent is equal to the name of the method so here i will write save and uh, then this is the input field of name so instead of name attribute here i will write wire model is equal to name and i will also remove this required because i will use live wire 3 for validation so i will remove this required attribute from here similarly i will replace this name with wire colon model and remove this required and then uh, just write wire colon model and remove this required and go to the register page.php file from here i will give a title to this page first so here i will use has and then title attribute class and here i will write register first i will declare some properties so here i will write public public and then i will write name email and password and then here i will define the uh, register method that is save okay register user and here i will write public function save and first let's check that all the values are coming from this form or not so here we can use gd and we can access all the properties like this in dd method now if i come here and fill all the field and click on sign up then here we are getting a name email and password okay so next let's first validate all the field so for this here i will write this this validate sorry validate and then here okay here i will use all the column names of users table like name email and password and here we have defines uh, validation rule so name field will be required and uh, max will be 255 email is required and email unique on user table and max 255 password is required minimum is 6 and maximum uh, maximum 255 okay now next i will save the user to database so save to database and for this i will use I will create a variable user and I will use user model here so import this user model uh, like this okay and also I will hash the password so just import this hash class like this and then I will <coughs> once the user is uh, saved to database then I will log in this current user so I will use this auth and then login method and i will pass the current user and then i will redirect the user to home page so here i will use redirect uh, instead of this i will use intended 
intended okay now let's uh, test this okay so remove all the field the field value and click on sign up so you can see validation error message is not displaying in uh, input field below input field okay so to display all the uh, validation error message we have to work on this blade file so here let's first uh, come to this name input field here you can see there is div which contain an icon svg icon so if i uh, remove this hidden class then here you will see this icon so i will display this icon when some validation error message comes so i will cut this and here i will use error and i will check for name error and paste this okay similarly here you can see this is the validation error message so if i remove this hidden class and so here you can see this is the message in red color so here i will display the dynamic validation error message so for this i will cut this p tag and here i will use error again and then i'll write name and paste it here remove this default message and here i will use message okay so i will copy the same thing this for email also so let's remove and paste let's only write email here similarly copy the same thing uh, remove this p tag and paste here let's change this to email and similarly copy this same thing and remove this div and paste here change this email to password and uh, similarly copy this p tag and uh, remove this paste here just change email to password okay now if i save and go to the browser remove all the values and click on sign up then you can see all the validation working properly okay now let's uh, fill all the fields value and click on sign up so here you can see the email has already been taken so let's uh, make this unique and click on sign up so you can see we are redirected to home page and user is authenticated now but still this login uh, button is showing in the nav bar so we will hide this login button when user uh, logged in successfully and display here username with a drop down menu which contains uh, some menu like uh, my orders and logout uh, logout link okay so let's first work on this so before going to work on uh, nav bar uh, let's open the web.pg file so here i will define uh, some middleware group okay so for this uh, let's use a route middleware and first i will use auth middleware and here i will write group function and inside this uh, i will keep some pages authenticated so uh, i you can say uh, protected so once a user is logged in or, or or authenticated then only uh, can uh, then only user can able to uh, view the page okay so i will cut all these pages from here and paste inside this similarly i will cut these routes and paste here inside the auth middleware similarly i will define another uh, route middleware with uh, guest and uh, then i will use group function now inside this i will keep all the login registration register forgot reset route inside this and uh, i will also define one route inside this auth middleware so i will define route get method and then uh, i will write logout and i will directly use function here and from here i will use auth logout and return redirect to home page okay 
so I can use directly here home page like this okay so now let's go to the navbar blade file so open navbar.blade.pg file here uh, if you scroll below then you will find some commented code okay so let's uncomment this and if I go to the browser then here you will see a username and a drop down menu okay so user is already authenticated so in this case we will hide this login button and we will display only this so for this here what I will do is I will select this drop down menu cut and here I will use auth and paste inside this and similarly I will cut this login button from here and I will use guest and paste this okay and I will also display the user name dynamically so I will remove this username from here and here I will use auth user and name okay if I save this and go to the browser then you can see the username is now showing dynamic and uh, the sign in button is also removed and if I click on logout then this nothing is happening because we have to come here in logout link and in this href I will write logout if I save and now if I click on logout then you can see we are redirected to the home page and a user is now logged out that's why the login uh, button is now visible okay so if I click on login again and uh, let's go to sign up again and sign up with a different user so here you can see this email is already registered so if I make this unique and click on sign up then you can see we are redirected and the username is displaying here if I go to the database and check the user is stored in database or not so if I go to database database.sqlite file and click on users so here you can see all the users is now displaying here in table user table it means this is working fine so next next what I will do is uh, if I log out then you can see we are now displaying this login button okay so let's work on this sign in page so so for this uh, let's uh, close all the files and uh, open this login page.php file this is the component class file and similarly uh, we will also open the blade file of login page so this is the blade file of login page from here similarly we will send a submit uh, submit event from this blade view file to the login page.php file okay so for this here i will use wire submit dot prevent is equal to save <coughs> similarly here for the input tag i will remove this name and instead i will use wire model is equal to email and i will remove this required and uh, same uh, i will remove this hidden class from here instead here i will use at the rate error and here i will write email and i will paste this and i will remove this and here i will use error error email and paste let's remove this default message and here i will write message okay similarly for password i will use okay so here you can see this is the name so here i will write wire model uh, remove this required attribute and uh, remove this hidden from here uh, I think we have to remove this hidden class from here also now uh, let's copy the same thing so copy and uh, paste here replace this D change this email to password and similarly copy this and uh, replace this P tag and change this email to password okay I think done now let's go to the class file first here I will give a title login let's import this title attribute like this and first I will declare some 
public property like public email and public password okay and then i will define the save method so let's write save and then first i will validate so here i will use this validate and uh, then here inside this i will validate the field so i will validate the email field first so here i will check for the required and then email and then max will be 255 and one more i will use exist exist in users table and email call column okay and uh, for password i will use required minimum six character and maximum 255 character okay now here uh, i will check if not auth then i will then i will use attempt method and then i will pass email and password here email and password okay like this and then here i will remove this one and this return also here i will use session session to send a flash message to the blade file so here i will write session flash error invalid credential and i will use just return here okay and uh, so here i'm checking if uh, if user try to log in with the above credential and if the auth is failed then i will send a flash message to the blade file and i will return and in case the user is uh, user is logged in successfully with the current credential then i will use return redirect and here i will just write intended okay that's it let's check so if i go to the browser and let's write any email id which is not present in the database click on signing so you can see the selected email is invalid now let's write the correct email and click on signing so you can see the user is signed in successfully and here you can see the name of the user uh, the name of the user is displaying here and we can now log out the user from here so if i click on log out then user is now logged out okay and uh, here uh, let me show you one thing if i go to cart page okay and this is the checkout button so let me open cart blade file and find the uh, checkout checkout so where is the checkout okay so here you can see this is the button so let's convert into H, uh, anchor tag and here i'll write href and uh, then here i'll write checkout checkout page okay so let me give block display block okay and text center okay all okay so now if i click on checkout then you can see okay so root login not defined so let me go to web.php file and this is the login route so here i will name login okay now if i come here and reload the browser and now if i try to click on checkout then you can see we are redirecting to the sign in page okay because we are not authentic authenticated so we cannot access the checkout page so first we we need to uh, sign in then only we can access the uh, checkout page so if i write all the credential here and click on sign in then only you can see we are now on checkout page okay so if i sign log out again and go to cart page and try to check out then a user first have to authenticate it then only can access checkout page okay so uh, today i completed the sign up and sign in page now in next video we will see how to 
work on forgot password and then uh, how to reset password okay so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel